Social engineering attacks are on the rise. Social engineering attacks, also known as human hacking, taking advantage of human error and psychology to attack an individual or business. AI tools have supported a significant rise in these attacks, increasing their precision and scale. So we're taking a look at the most common forms of social engineering attack. Whaling. This is a personalized phishing attack against a high value target at the executive level rather than a bulk attack. This attack is going to be highly personalized. The attack will pull information from the target's social media and other public information and use this to inform the attack. This could include imitating friends, family, or services you use to make communication seem real. Sophisticated attacks might even use, use AI to impersonate someone's voice over the phone. The aim of this is for the user to click a malicious link, log into a service, or respond with sensitive information. Spoofing, a common type of phishing attack. An attacker poses as a trustworthy member of the user's company through a spoof email account. They send emails requesting personal details, invoicing payments, or even updating holiday policies, often citing urgent time frames taking advantage of the trust the user has in the employee. As spoof attacks rely on a personal behavior, they're hard to monitor and manage through cybersecurity tools. Baiting. An incentive is given to lure users into revealing personal information or installing malware. This could be via an ad, where the user gets a free download, or an online quiz. The user gives over personal information to access the download, which the attacker either sells on or uses to access other accounts. Baiting can also be physical. For example, a malware-infected USB stick, which can be left outside a company with a logo printed on it. Then an employee inserts it into their computer to find out who the USB stick belongs to. Pretexting. The attacker poses as someone in a position of authority, for example, a police officer or tax official. They will give a pretext, a plausible scenario, to build trust before requesting valuable or sensitive data. This data may be used to attack the individual or as part of a bigger attack to compromise the company they work for. These are just some of the scenarios you need to be aware of when submitting any personal information online.